A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 9, verses 22 to 27. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. He went on, It is necessary that the Son of Man proceed to an ordeal of suffering, be tried and found guilty by the religious leaders, high priests and religious scholars, be killed, and on the third day he raised up alive. Then he told them what they could expect from themselves. Anyone who intends to come with me has to let me lead. You are not in the driver's seat. I am. Don't run from your suffering. Embrace it. Follow me and I will show you how. Self-help is no help at all. Self-sacrifice is the way, my way, to finding yourself your true self. What good would it do to get everything you want and lose you, the real you? If any of you is embarrassed with me and the way I'm leading you, know that the Son of Man will be far more embarrassed with you when he arrives in all his splendor in company with the Father and the holy angels. This isn't, you realize, pie in the sky by and by. Some who have taken their stand right here are going to see it happen. See with their own eyes the kingdom of God, the gospel of the Lord. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 22 to 25. Choice of Life and Death At the beginning of the Lenten journey, the Church makes us reflect on the words of Moses and of Jesus. Moses tells the Israelites, See, I have set before you this day life and good, death and evil. You have to choose. However, it is not easy to choose. It is more comfortable to live by letting ourselves be carried by the inertia of life, situations and habits. Have you chosen your way of living? Is it on the side of life or on the side of death? Today, the church is telling us to stop. Begin this land with small questions that will help one to consider. What is my life like? The first thing to ask ourselves is, Who is God for me? How is my relationship with Jesus? And the second, How is my relationship with my family? with parents, siblings, wife, husband, and children? These two series of questions will surely help us to find things that we need to correct. We always want to win. We want to earn. We want to be successful. But Jesus challenges us. What advantage does a man have who wins the whole world but loses or destroys himself. The wrong path to follow is always chasing success and riches without considering the Lord or family. Let us have faith in this Lord who is with us and helps us to choose good. Let us ask him for the grace to be courageous Because it takes a bit of courage to stop and ask myself, How do I stand before God? How are my relationships in the family? What do I need to change?